Good day, everyone. This is Dan Desera, a second year BS Biology student at the Visayas State University. Today, we are going to review about the nonverbal critical thinking portion of the exam. From the words nonverbal, the problems in this part of the exam have little to no words. The words are only used for instructions, and some letters might be present in the problems, but they are used as a figure. To solve the problems, you are given shapes, patterns, cuts and folds, and other figures. Some of these figures are rotated, disassembled, cut, and mixed match. This part of the exam requires a keen observation within these figures and a lot of imagination. For me, this part of the exam is the easiest because you don't need to study for this part of the exam. So why do we still need to review? This is because of time. This part of the exam might not need a lot of studying, but you need a lot of thinking to do with a limited amount of time. This part gets the least allotted time given the number of problems they provide. So this review aims to help you become more efficient in answering these problems and avoid as much errors as you can. Maximize your time, minimize your errors. In this review, we are only going to tackle which figure is which, patterns, perspectives, does not belong to the group, cubes, cuts and folds, and counting figures. We will start with which figure is which. Which one is identical to this figure? For these kinds of problems, you need to have markers. You can assign whatever marker you want, but for me, my marker for this one is the triangle made by one side of the blank square and the angle of the pentagon. In letter A, our marker is not present, so automatically wrong. Letters B, C, and D have the triangle, but in letter B, the triangle is a bit lopsided, while in letter D, the triangle is made by the side of the shaded square. So in times that many choices coincides with your marker, you have to observe what are the differences between these choices. The correct answer should be letter C. Next number. If you rotate the given figure, which of the following will be the result? Again, we will assign our marker. This time, I'm going to mark the three shapes beside each other, circle, square, and triangle. In letter A, we can find the pattern that we marked. However, the square in this one is not shaded. In letter B, the circle and the square are not beside each other, so again, this is wrong. In letter C, we can see our markers, so correct. But do not stop there. You also have to look at the other shapes if they are identical to the shapes above. In letter D, the order of the pattern that we marked is still off. So, the answer must be letter C. Which of the four choices below is the rotated version of the given figure? This is another which figure is which problem, but this one is in 3D, so it requires a little more of your imagination. We know that the figure is rotated, so we try to imagine what the figure looks like when it is rotated. In this case, when you rotate the figure 90 degrees counterclockwise, the figure is clearly identical with the figure in letter C. This part might be confusing because you might assign the number of the cubes as a marker. But as you can see, all of the choices except letter B, which is automatically wrong, have the same number of cubes in every junction. The difference is that the figure in letter A is a mirror image to the original figure, and the figure in letter D is a, just a rotation of the figure in letter A. So, the correct answer should be letter C. Choose the correct mirror image of the given figure X from amongst the four alternatives. We have here another which figure is which, but this time, the problem is asking for a mirror image. A mirror image is a copy of the same image, but it's just reversed just like when you use a mirror. If you look closely, the figure resembles a letter N. In letter A, the figure does not quite resemble a mirrored letter N, so this is wrong. Letter B is just a mirrored image of letter A. 
So this is also wrong. Let us see have this zigzag thing going on in here, which is not found in the original figure. So again, wrong. And in letter D, the figure resembles a mirrored N. And as you can see, the figure is also identical to the original image, only it is mirrored. So the final answer should be letter D. Now we move on to patterns, which is the next figure in the series. The most obvious pattern we can see here is the color of the biggest shape. White, black, white, black, white. So the next color must be black. Letters B and D are automatically wrong. Then let us look at the shapes. All of the choices are triangles. So let us move on to the next shape inside. Circle, triangle, square. Circle, triangle. The next shape must be square. So the answer must be letter C. Which of the following frames complete the pattern? The pattern for this problem is that the triangles move to the right. The rightmost triangle moves to the leftmost position. So the next pattern should have three triangles pointing upwards. Letters A and C is wrong since they don't start with three triangles pointing upward. In letter B, the order of the next four triangles is wrong since the next four triangles should be pointing down, up, down, and down. Letter D follows the right pattern, so letter D is the final answer. We have here another pattern problem. If you look closely, the arrows are rotating 30 degrees clockwise in every step. So the next orientation of the arrow must be pointing downwards. Letters A, D, and E are automatically wrong. At first glance, letters B and C looks exactly the same. But upon further observation, you can actually see that the curved line in the arrow is actually a spiral. We can conclude this because the curved line overlaps and is under the arrow in certain areas. The difference in B and C is that the spiral is oriented differently. Let's get back to the pattern. In the first step, the first curve of the spiral is over the arrow, then under, over, under, over, and the next one must be under. So as we can see, letter C is the final answer. Which does not belong to the group. Which of the following frames does not belong to the group? In these kinds of problems, you have to find similarities in three of the choices. You have to observe the figures and compare them with each other. All of the choices have five pointed stars and four pointed stars. Two of the choices have one four pointed star and two of the choices also have even number of four pointed stars. However, we are looking for a trait that is similar to three of the choices. What is similar between three of the four choices is actually the symmetry of the figures. As you can see, the first three choices are symmetric laterally. The figure in letter D is asymmetric, so letter D is the answer. Perspectives a three-dimensional object is shown, which top side view is correct. The technique for this is you have to look at the layers. Every layer corresponds to a shape in the choices. The shapes should also be identical to how the layer is shaped. We have here our first layer, second, third, fourth. So all in all, we have four layers. So we are also going to look for four shapes in our choices. Counting the shapes from our choices, only letter B has four shapes, and the shapes correspond to the shapes of our layer. So the answer should be letter B. Which of the following choices is the result when the figure is cut by a plane as shown below? This is a perspective and cutting problem in one. 
So the first thing you will have to do is, of course, imagine what would be the outcome after you cut the figure. It should look like this. Looking from the top, we should see two layers. Letter B and C have two shapes on them, so the answer should be either C or B. If we look closely, the two rectangular shapes in letter C have the same size. And as we look at our figure, the sizes of the rectangles should not be equal. The other rectangle should be twice larger than the other, taking up two-thirds of the whole shape. So, the answer should be letter B. Let's move on to cubes. Which of the cubes cannot be made based on the unfolded cube? When dealing with problems in the likes of this, the first thing you must do is to imagine how the figure should be folded to form the cube. Then you should find which sides are opposite and beside each other. When you fold this figure into a cube, the two circles should be opposite with each other. Look at the choices. The figure in letter B shows that the circles are beside each other, which does not follow our previous observation. So, the answer for this problem is letter B. Two pieces of cube puzzle with three adjacent faces in each piece are shown and to be used to form a cube. Each face is drawn with a figure different to other sides. Which view fits to the arrangement of the symbol when the cube is assembled? So again, we need to devise a solution for us to fold the given puzzle into a cube. This is how we can transform this into a cube. The octagon should be opposite to this hallowed circle. The circle should be opposite to x. And the square and cross should be opposite to each other. The three sides in the same panel should also be beside each other and they should line up. In letter A, the octagon is beside the circle and there is also a side with a square. None of the rules we applied so far are violated, so letter A is suspected to be the answer. In letter B, the circle shape and the X are beside each other, which makes it wrong because according to our observations, they should be opposite from each other, the circle shape and X. In letter C, the three symbols should line up and be beside each other since they came from the same panel. Cross should have been opposite to the square, so letter C is also wrong. In letter D, the X and the circle are supposed to be across or opposite to each other. In this figure, they are beside each other, so this is wrong. The final answer should be letter A. We will now proceed to cuts and folds. Find out from amongst the four alternatives as to how the pattern should appear where the transparent sheet is folded at the dotted line. Since you are using a transparent sheet, all of the lines should be visible. Options 1 and 2 are obviously wrong. Look closely what is the difference between option 3 and 4. It is that the ear-like shape is in different places. In the original figure, the ear-like shape is near the fold or the crease. In option number 4, the ear-like shape is nearer, so the answer must be option number 4, which is letter D. Choose a figure which would most closely resemble the unfolded form of figure Z. This problem includes folding and cutting. My personal technique for this is to fold the choices back and imagine if it comes out just like the original folded figure. Looking how it is folded, the cut on either sides of the paper should look like this. When you open it up, the shape on the sides is inverted or a mirror of the cut at the center. Option 1 and 4 has the cuts in either of its sides not inverted or mirrored 
from the cut in the center. So option 1 and 4 are automatically wrong. Option 1 also have the wrong shape of cut. Both options 2 and 3 have inverted cuts we were looking for. However, the cut in option 3 is the wrong shape of cut, as you can see here. So the final answer should be option 2, which is letter B. Let us now proceed to our last category, counting figures. Find the number of triangles in the given figure. In these kinds of problems, you really have to count everything. There is no shortcut. But the technique is to count from the largest triangles to the smallest because there are smaller triangles inside the larger triangles. So let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and 28. So we have 28 triangles. So the answer must be letter D, 28. We will conclude our lecture video here. Thank you for tuning in and staying with me throughout the video. Aspiring scholars, we can do it.